Hey there, we just got back from a community outside of Bucharest, which on the way we were driving and we passed more horse and buggies than we did anything else. So that was quite interesting. Uh, we got there, played with the kids. I got to, um, to play the guitar with Valentin, which was one of the guys um, <coughs> there that led worship. Dude was awesome on the guitar, been playing for seven years. Um, while we were there, we, we led in worship and also uh, got to give testimonies. And one of the things that I, that I said was, uh, you know, I see that there's freedom in this place. When we came here, we saw that there was joy in this place. And when there's joy, when there's freedom, um, and it's abounding like it is, that means there's obedience. There's passion in this place. And I told him, I said, I can see it in your eyes. I can see it here. It's so thick. And that's so encouraging, and I told them to, and I wanted to encourage them in that, and that what I see is discipleship because the children are passionate about who they are in Christ and, and God and, and what He's doing here. And though they have little, they're thankful, they're joyful, and um, there's just a whole new light about these people. Little bitty church, little bitty room. There were probably seventy five people in there, and. Uh, I, God was just all over the place. The Holy Spirit was all over the place in there. And I told him, I said, you know, this kind of reminds me of when I was younger, seeing these kids over here. Um, there were people um, in, in my church, in my community that poured into me that, you know, they'd bring us to their house to fly kites. They would um, feed us. They would, you know, have a good time with us. They would pour into us. They would love me like I was their own. When I got to be a little bit older, um, you know, junior high age, um, they would take us and we would do things and they would pour into us and we would have fun and, you know, we would get serious. But um, all in all, they would love me like they were all, like I was their own. And when I got older, you know, in college and um, became a little bit more into my adulthood um, and, and, you know, things got to get a little bit more serious. They were still investing in me. They were still loving me. And they were loving me like I was their own. And I, I told them, I said, I got an email this morning from a mentor or a pastor um, back home. And he wanted to know, you know, what was going on. And he, he, he said it and made his millennium when I tried to call him on the phone and left a message. And he... He said he was so proud of me. And, and I told him, I said, it doesn't matter what age, but it means the world when you invest in somebody like that. It means the world when you pour your life into them and who you are into them and love them like, you're their, like they're your own. And I said, I, I see this here. And don't forget, I want to encourage you that discipleship is the key. Relationship is what it's about. It's not about getting saved and walking off. It's about relationship. Jesus came for us not only to, to save us, but he came to have a relationship, to have a bond, to show us true, real life and what it's all about. And that's that relationship. And I wanted to encourage him in that. I said, pursue each other. Pursue each other. And dive in each other's lives like we're called to in Scripture. So I want to encourage you to do that as well. Remember, discipleship is what it's about. Discipleship is what changes our streets. It's what changes our cities. It was, it's what changes our state. Discipleship is what changes generations. So don't forget that.